parm breadcrumb fish with a Dijon butter. The fish is only going to take 12 minutes, 12 to 15-ish, depending on how thick cut it is. If you're making this dish with chicken, it's going to take you 20 minutes. So you want to allow for that. So you need like five minutes longer if you're making it with chicken breast. For the topping for fish, or you can make it with chicken, I have a few tablespoons of softened butter, a couple tablespoons of thyme, and some Dijon mustard. And I'm gonna combine that. This is gonna be our glue for our breadcrumbs. Okay. And now I'm going to evenly distribute that on top of each piece of cod. Just any sustainable white fish is fine for this. Even if you buy it from the frozen food section, it'll say clearly on the label if the fish is sustainable. Check for that, obviously. We need to keep each other fed, right? Good for the planet, good for our tum-tums to make sure we're buying sustainable seafood. So here's our breadcrumb mixture, guys. A little more softened butter and it's raw breadcrumb, homemade or store-bought. I've got the last little bit I had of some homemade from the other day. And I have some uh, just regular, you know, plain breadcrumbs. And I'm mixing softened butter with lemon zest, a lot of parsley and a little garlic. So now we're gonna sprinkle in some parm. You don't normally, especially in Italian recipes, marry seafood with cheese, but I mean, this is like the chicken of the sea. And I think it's delicious. You can omit the parm if you like, but not with my family. Uh-uh. They want the parm. So it's like putting like garlic bread on top of your fish or chicken, basically. Then all this bakes and browns in the oven. And once I get this in the oven, you guys, look, I really mound it up there. That's crazy, right? But it's so good. And the extra breadcrumbs people fight over. <laughs> Um, I'm also gonna roast up half a lemon to squish on top. And the, I salt and peppered the fish before we started. Guys, look at how beautiful these garlicky parm breadcrumbs are up on top of our giant pieces of baked fish. So simple. It takes moments to make this dish. 